Good morning. I'm Jen Amos at Weiss Research. I'm Andy Myers, and this is your Morning Market Alert for Monday, September 26th. Stocks on Wall Street may rebound from last week's steep losses as U.S. investors continue to take their cues from Europe. Last week, renewed concerns about the sovereign debt crisis and the possibility of a Greek default pushed the Dow Industrials down 6.4 percent, their biggest weekly drop since October of 2008, and many of the major European indexes fared even worse. But investor sentiment began to turn around this morning amid unconfirmed reports that the European Central Bank is considering an interest rate cut. That would be a reversal from the ECB's recent policy decisions. It has raised its key short-term rate to 1.5% over the past few months, while other central banks have kept theirs at ultra-low levels. Global investors were less than impressed by the progress made by economic policymakers in Washington over the weekend. The International Monetary Fund presented a united front, saying it would do whatever is necessary to resolve the European debt crisis. That will likely include new powers for the Eurozone's rescue fund, which currently has 440 billion euros to help bail out struggling nations. However, the fund doesn't have the authority to spend that money on its own, and it can't yet buy bonds in the international markets. Despite the reassurance from the IMF, no concrete action was announced, and there is a growing sense among investors that a Greek debt default may be inevitable. That belief was strengthened by comments from the German Deputy Finance Minister yesterday. He said that the next round of Greek funds will need to wait until European and IMF officials are satisfied with Athens' fiscal progress. Worries about Greece have weighed on the euro recently, driving it down to around $1.35. But the shared currency seems to be stabilizing this morning. However, the recent selling pressure on commodities shows no signs of letting up. Precious metals have tumbled over the past couple trading sessions as investors have pulled their money out to hedge against a possible global liquidity crunch. Gold futures tumbled, tumbled nearly 6% during Friday's session, their biggest one-day percentage drop in five years. And right now, gold is trading at around $1,630 an ounce. Meanwhile, silver is dropping another 5% today to below $29 an ounce, following an 18% decline on Friday. But oil prices are stabilizing after their recent declines. Right now, crude is holding steady right around $80 an ounce. On the corporate front, the energy sector may get a lot of attention today. Chevron and its partners are investing $29 billion in the construction of a liquid natural gas project in Australia. Chevron aims to ship the first products from the Wheatstone field to Japanese customers in 2016 and said the facility could more than double in size later to satisfy Asian energy demand. Meanwhile, keep an eye on shares of Boeing. They're rising 2% as the company delivers its first 787 Dreamliner to Japanese carrier ANA. The long-haul, fuel-efficient aircraft has been delayed multiple times, but it won final approval from U.S. and European regulators last month. And finally, activist investor is Carl Icahn is backing away from his attempt to take over Clorox. Icahn has been trying to replace the company's board of directors, but he's now withdrawing his proposed slate. Shares of Clorox are dropping more than 5% on the news. That's the latest from Weiss Research. We'll be back after the opening bell with all the market reaction.